audio is recording. That's the most important part. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all the most important part. Everything. It's all of the, all of the parts. Are the most important part. Everything is all important. more important than others. <laughs> Welcome to Three Guys, Three Questions, where three guys test the limits of propriety through the questions we ask. I'm Aaron L.M. Goodwin, and I'm joined, as always, by Andrew Savage and Adam oh. R. Anderson. Um, yeah, this we, gotta is... wave. we have to wave during that part. Oh, you have to wave? <laughs> no, it's, for, it's for the audio listeners. We have to wave when you say our names. <laughs> oh. For the audio listeners? Okay. So this is season two, episode two, recorded September eighth. Uh, That's it's the eighth today in twenty fourteen, and uh, this week we are sponsored by Gold Bond, medicated powder, uh, Kashi Goline, and Shame. Mm. Mostly Shame. Mostly Shame. And if you don't know where to get it, just go ask your mom. My my goal this week is to laugh less because I feel like a good thirty five percent of last week was just me laughing into the microphone. Yeah. yeah. Um it could be hard when you're talking to me and Savage. Yeah. Actually it was mostly me laughing at my own jokes. No. Which was <laughs> kind bad. of compounded the problem. <laughs> All right. Well let's get into some follow up. Um I just wanted to bring up a few things from last week. First of all, um, as soon as we were done recording, I, I decided to research uh, spaghetti products, like repurposing spaghetti. And I found a really good recipe for spaghetti discs. Really? <laughs> well, they're called a, spaghetti. A good it's, called, recipe it's, called, or... it's called pizza di spaghetti. But <laughs> What's it's the emoji spaghetti? for the accent. Pizza di spaghetti. Oh, right there. And you have to do hand motions. <laughs> yeah, Italia. Um, <laughs> See, it's that from, sounds it's... a lot better than what we called it last week, which I think was deep fried spaghetti hockey puck. <laughs> yeah, I think this is better marketing. And it makes sense because this is from the Food Network and it's from Giada De Laurentiis. Ooh, so... She's Italian sounding. She's, she's Italian sounding. She sounds very <laughs> Italian. Um Okay, that's all I had to say about that, but it's a real thing. So obviously, like, I came up with a real thing in, in case anybody wanted to think <laughs> it was disgusting. It's a real thing. Um, and then there I, was spaghetti I sandwiches. I looked at that recipe, though, Aaron, but yeah. I'm not sure if what we, like, we can call what you did a real thing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's close to it. It was close to it. I mean, right. it's like similar concepts, <laughs> but in a way that, like, Tolkien... And, like, my downstairs neighbor have similar concepts about fantasy. Yeah, but that's if your your downstairs neighbor existed before Tolkien. Because I did this way, way, way back in the day. This is way before Giada de Laurentiis did this recipe, because I'm pretty sure I'm older than her. So... <laughs> <laughs> live broadcast. The other thing I wanted to bring up is you can you can watch us make idiots out of ourselves live in real time. Um, if you just go to 3g3q.co slash live. So this is broadcasting right now. If you go to that webpage, you'll see that it's broadcasting and there is a uh, chat room you can join. Let's see how many people in our chat room. There's just me. So that's that. Um, <laughs> we also... I, I, I also want to bring up something that I did that seems to have upset people. I had previously been writing a question of the day and uh, sharing that question via social media platforms. I and, saw that people were upset about that. Was people, really, I was really shocked that people were that involved in that. People were, were really mad. So, so the reason they were mad, right, is that I said, hey, I'm going to start posting these from Three Guys, Three Questions. So you need to follow Three Guys, Three Questions if you want to get these. Because, uh, I don't know, let's think about it. Like, I have a podcast about questions, and um, maybe my question thing should be on that. Like, and then everyone... I, that doesn't make any logical sense to me. <laughs> I don't see how those two concepts are connected. <laughs> and then I thought, like, it would be cool to use the questions that we do throughout the week too to see what people's answers are to those questions that you know some people want to 
share that. So I don't know. Um, basically, I just want to say that the people who are upset about this are dead to me and that they can <laughs> they can unfollow me and never talk to me again. So I'm fine. With it. Um, and then the last item of follow up is use our, our uh, ask ask a question thing. If you go to our website, you can ask us a question. So so fill that up with with questions so that we can if we run out of them we can just use yours so we don't have to think anymore you can be internet famous yeah (laughs) literally dozens of people can hear your question (laughs) it's like i may be in college but coming up with a question for this show is literally the hardest thing i do every week (laughs) (laughs) yeah i rack my brain it's like it's it's a difficult thing adam hit us with your question my question for you guys is what is the most stubborn thing you have ever done? That's a good question. Andrew, you're the you're the you're up My first. first? Okay. Yeah. So the most stubborn thing I've ever done actually happens quite often. It's it's every time I have a really hot meal and I just cannot wait for it to cool down. <laughs> <laughs> and the worst part is when I'm like around people and like they're watching me try to eat this piping hot that food and yeah. I just like Every human being is like, just wait 30 seconds or a minute. I'm like, no, I got to go now. <laughs> it, it might go away. I don't, I just feel stupid. You do that thing where you like hold it on your tongue and then like close your teeth. And you so just, that like, you start breathing. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. try to close it so that people don't know because obviously they can't tell that that's what's happening. <laughs> you try to be <laughs> real discreet. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've had that problem too. Is, mm-hmm. what, is that stubbornness, though, or is that just impatience? Maybe this I is where we're going to get turned into maybe a This is why we're a philosophy podcast. The same thing. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> question answered. <laughs> um, my answer to this question is uh, one time I was, I was at the location where Andrew's at right now, and um, there, was, there was a friend who... Wh- what? I was I was going to interrupt you and derail you again, but maybe I shouldn't. Do what again? I was going to derail you again, but maybe oh. I should. Yeah, don't derail me, man. Um, Sorry. So so I I said something at the same time as this friend of ours and and she jinxed me. And I happened to take jinx really seriously. Um because I I feel like it would be really awesome to get someone to jinx, but I, I've always been on the on the bad end of the jinx. I've never actually caught. And if I have, they don't care. They're like, I don't care about jinx. Jinx aren't a real like, thing. Whatever. whatever. And I'm like, oh, this is important. Um, good, good thing there's a delay on like our internet connection. That makes it really hard for us to jinx each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that could make for a really bad podcast if we if we jinx if we jinx Aaron. <laughs> we just all sit here in silence. Yeah, see, that was terrible. <laughs> so what happened is she, she jinxed me and she said, buy me apple juice. Um, usually this location has apple juice stocked in the fridge <clears throat> that you can buy. So I just went into the fridge to buy an apple juice and it was empty. And then I was like, oh, all right. So I went across the street to the, the liquor store and uh, there was no apple juice there, man. So... I went down to Stater Brothers, <laughs> and there was no apple juice there. And <laughs> Stater Brothers. At Stater Brothers, there was. You could have got her like the dollar huge one, you know. All, all I know is they were like completely out of apple juice. Like it was like Just that day. There's an apple juice shortage. Yeah, they're like rationing. Toddlers apple juice. have no apple juice. Toddlers are marching down the streets demanding apple juice, <laughs> and there are none. They have poorly yeah. spelled signs. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, you better watch the way you spell juice, man. <laughs> There's so many, so many ways to misspell that that could go wrong. Um. <clears throat> so anyhow, uh, yeah, I was still jinxed, and I had to go to my history class. Um. So I went there <laughs> with three guys, three questions alumnus, uh, Joe Palmer, and we sat in the front row of our history class. And uh, I didn't say a word the whole time. And I got called on to answer a question. And I, like, panicked. I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. Um, so I just, like, 
Did Joe save you, or did he just watch you sweat? He watched. No, he was never going to save me. <laughs> it, it was a. It was. It was a surprise that he was awake. Because usually we would walk <laughs> into the class, sit down on the front row, and he'd just go to sleep. That's it. The whole class wake up, leave, and he got better grades than me. I don't know how it happened. Um, but he he just was looking at me, and I just looked at him like. Like, like I just gave him this look of like, I don't know, like, <laughs> and the teacher like felt so much sympathy for me that like something was wrong that I couldn't utter what I needed to utter that obviously there was something like a tender spot here or something. And so Joe, he's like, Joe, uh, what do you think? <laughs> so I went through the whole class without making a comment. Um, that must have been I, so hard for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. For me, that's like torture. Um, so then I went to another grocery store and found the the apple juice and, and gave it to her, and I was freed from my bondage. But that, that's probably the most stubborn thing I've done because even she was like texting me and telling me, like, dude, it's okay. You can talk. Just talk. Just talk to me. She could like, have just said your name three times. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, she didn't do that. I don't know. Jinx but... amateur. Yeah, she doesn't know what she was doing. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know how jinx work. <laughs> She's not lived the jinx. <laughs> so kind of, kind of like Andrew's answer earlier. Uh, before this podcast started, I had a salad, and I wasn't gonna let it start until I finished my salad. Yeah. So that's that's not my entire answer. That's well, just that's like one the example. Most thing you've ever done. That's that's not the <laughs> most stubborn thing I've ever done. Oh, okay. It's just, it's, I, just <clears throat> I just felt like we I needed to share that bond of solidarity. Oh with yeah. This with Andrew because this is this is called this is, is called opening the kimono. Right. We're <laughs> wait. You uh, well, the, two questions. That that seems I I don't. Don't Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't research it. I, I, I just see, it seems a little more racist than Round Robin last week. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> so the most stubborn thing I've ever done was when I was on my mission uh, with, you know, Aaron Conley. Mm -hmm. We were... Coon Diddley. Coon Diddley, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were, we were doing our weekly planning, right, for our, mm -hmm. for our mission thing, you know, just planning about like what we were going to do for the week and then we got to the end of it and i was like all right conley it's your turn to say the the closing prayer and he was like i said the opening prayer and i said like, i don't care you're saying the closing prayer and he's like no i'm not and i was like yeah yeah you are i'm just gonna sit here with my arms folded my eyes closed until you say the prayer and then he's like no i'm gonna do the same thing and so we just sat there neither of us were speaking we were just sitting there <laughs> trying to wait the other one out yeah, he kept peeking at me, and I kept peeking at him. <laughs> and he's like, "We gonna go?" <laughs> we we ended, we ended up sitting there for like twenty minutes until he finally <laughs> caved. <laughs> oh man, no, no, that is that's pretty prideful. Um, I believe the wording in my question was stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that's how etymology works, right? It's like insects and words and stuff. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's like three people <laughs> that are gonna understand that joke, <laughs> and then we're like, Aaron. Yeah, Steve. but those are the three people we want listening to this podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's all we want. Like, if you don't understand that, leave. If you didn't get that right, joke, you're not right for this podcast. Oh, no, don't don't leave. If, don't. if you didn't get that joke, what are you doing? Browsing I'm worried. The I'm worried that we have. I'm worried that we have too many viewers and, and listeners. Yeah. So we want to uh, we weed out. The herd a little bit. We're too powerful. Yeah. <laughs> we need to weed out the Fairweather fans. Okay, cool. So my question is pretty easy. <laughs> no, so. Is it? Your life. No. <laughs> your life is a movie. Your movie has a soundtrack. What song do you use for the montage of your life soundtrack movie. And what is it montaging? Wow, that is a question, I think. <laughs> I know. Like, it requires me to sum up my entire life experience in one song. <laughs> I, I feel like it's... Uh, 
like if I diagrammed it, it would be like I'd have to write it out on like a football field because there's that <laughs> many words and lines connecting things. Um, so so my <clears throat> my answer to this, it's it's <laughs> I didn't even know montaging. Like I didn't know that was like a verb. Like it's not. Long, I looked it up. But... <laughs> Let's montage this. Um, <laughs> it actually comes from the French montage. Oh, <laughs> there we go. that's some etymology for this you. Is, is entomology. Um, that's my song. <laughs> my song would be uh, "Song Number Two by Blur. <laughs> um, the most of the lyrics to that song just go, "Woohoo!" Over and then they say something and then it's just woohoo over and over again and it's. I don't think there are lyrics to that song. It's like a. It's like a that's like over and over again. Um, yeah. So it would be that, and then it would just be um, repeated cuts of me like kicking down a door, um, and then I like pull a barbecue rib out of my mouth with one hand, and then I like pull off sunglasses with another hand. And underneath the sunglasses are my glasses. <laughs> and then... And, you just and, got some and, grandpa sunglasses on, those big old wraparound ones. Yeah. And I keep doing this when I, I bust through the door that's behind like a, a scene from my life. So the first one is like my birth at the hospital. And it's like my mom and my dad cradling my body. And then I <laughs> kick down the door, pull out the rib, pull down the glasses. Woohoo! And then it, <laughs> The song keeps playing, so every time it says "woohoo," it happens for like all the different moments. Of my life. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm uh, pretty sure that would be the the most awesome montage ever made. <laughs> That's like fodder for Edgar Wright. Like he needs to do that. Edgar, talk to me. <laughs> Call me up. Yeah. yeah. Have have his call. Have his people call your people. Yeah, my people or me. I don't even have <laughs> any people. Um, you just call me directly. You should get. You should really consider getting some people. Should get some people or, because there are some things that I could I could do if I had people. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay, uh, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about race. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that could possibly be about, <laughs> no, no. other than. That I think the, that that was well. It was a good run. Two sh two episodes. We made it. So I'll just fire myself now. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Next week, Joe's back. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, yeah, we like, we like Joe better. Not you know racially Racist. insensitive. <laughs> yeah. Um. But hey, I'm not the one that talked about round robining, okay? <laughs> yeah, or opening the kimono. Um, and ya de laurentis. Um, <laughs> what's your answer, Adam? Let's rescue this. <laughs> your an what are your montaging do? So I, I looked at... I've gone through a couple of different options for this, but I've been listening to lots of sad songs recently, and I don't know if I want my life to be summed up in a song called saudade like that's just kind of that's like asking to be depressed for the rest of my life no yeah. um so i've decided to go with tub something by chumbawamba <laughs> <laughs> that's a callback to one of our episodes uh if yeah, you watch the back, back catalog <laughs> it's the first cd i ever bought <laughs> And then, I, and then I sold it to my friend for more money than I bought it for. <laughs> Good friend. How do you, I'm a bad person. Yeah, well, you said it, not me. <laughs> so, Tub Thumping. Yeah, Tub Thumping by Chumbawamba. And it's just like, I get knocked down, but I get up again. And the montage is basically just going to be me as a child falling over a lot. Mm -hmm. Because after that, I've done nothing funny. So, <laughs> so like, what if you... Uh, it was just a, a camera just going from left to right the whole time. Like it's just on a track going this whole time following you and you walk and you fall down and you get up again. But like each time you get up, you grow a little bit. <laughs> so you're like, it's like the evolution of Adam. 
Yeah, I, and then like the very last, like right when the song ends, would be the last time I ever fall over, the last trip I've ever done, yeah. which I'm pretty sure was like two or three years ago. So. <laughs> no, it's gonna be when you die. It's gonna be you falling into the grave. Just in in that's that's. Just I was trying to make this a little bit more lighthearted than what my previous <laughs> suggestions were. But well, we're all gonna not. die, right? I mean. In mine, I'm going to die, and then I'm going to come in with a rib bone and then take the glasses off. But <laughs> You're going to be dead and busting into your own funeral? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> interrupting it. My song, the montage life movie, <laughs> I think I'd have to choose um, Lover Boys Working for the Weekend. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. For several reasons. One, it's an awesome montage song. Mm -hmm. Two, because Chris Farley dancing is like ingrained in my DNA, <laughs> just watching that over and over again. But, and I think what, and what my montaging would be just me driving to work back and forth. What, really? <laughs> yes. <This is> a... <laughs> it's like really Wait. thoughtful shots. Yeah. Oh, but, it's like, it's like, just like those, those like montage shots, just like out the window, like while you're driving. Yeah, <laughs> but lover boys working for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so boring. Like, I don't even know how you can make that exciting. <laughs> that's 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 worse than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys really? no. montage. You guys uh get get maybe like my, okay in my defense montaging. my montage song is amazing just not necessarily like the <laughs> well, montage itself. his montaging song is pretty awesome too <laughs> i was really hoping that he would choose i'm blue by eiffel 65 <laughs> i hate no. that song so much <laughs> oh it's the worst th like okay you guys don't know because you weren't in high school when i was in high school but that song was played out and i had a a drawing and cartooning class where it was like every single day, 40 times a day, it was that freaking blue song. You know the apartment complex that I live, all the outside, the exterior is painted blue. And sometimes my window looks blue, and sometimes I look outside of my blue window in my blue apartment complex and I see a blue car. Um, <laughs> for those of you here, Aaron is just growling over the microphone. <laughs> the worst. The worst. Oh, I hate that song. It's, hey, like, it's... I have PTSD from that song. <laughs> like I'm getting like flashbacks. Like I'm gonna get a, a a compass and some some clay and throw it at you. There's support groups where people are like, I can't do it, man. I can't do it. Like the song is no one plays it anymore. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I, and when I close then... my eyes. That's and then can... some guy, some jerk that just comes to the, the group just to screw with people goes like, would you say you're blue? <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> would you say that this song makes you <laughs> sad? Rage! <laughs> Freaking worst song ever. <laughs> All right, well, there's that question. <laughs> it is not the worst song ever. There are uh, okay. Things. Well, well, we'll get there. So my question has to do with music as well. Um, it is, what musician or band do you think is totally overrated? Am I going? I'm going first on this one. Like I don't you even are have to think going about first, it. Adam. I can tell you, you're 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 grinding your gears. I don't even have to think steam about ahead. it. <laughs> Let's go. Rude by Magic. <laughs> Rude. Worst song in America right now. It's so horrible. Uh, pretty sure I've had that song stuck in my head for like just, a month. I mean, just like from the very beginning <laughs> with that like fake like reggae steel drum beat that it starts off with just all the way through to the end. Like, Aren't that they song like comes Canadian? On and I want to murder them. Yes, they're Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Ross the Canadians, man. I know, like reggae white guy Canadians. I can't think of a more peaceful group. Canadian Rastafarians, <laughs> just just apologizing about being so chill. Is, uh, I hate the song so much. Like it, it makes like it's one of the few songs that I have an actual like physical reaction to. Now that I've 
Now that I've given this question some more thought, though, I'm not sure if that totally counts because that song's not necessarily overrated because there's a pretty big backlash against it right now. Yeah, it's not really rated super high, right? Right. It's just like this song is in everybody's like ear. Like it's just an earworm song. Like Magic themselves yeah. is not overrated. So, if, so like I guess like song wise, maybe they're pretty overrated. But band wise, I'd probably have to go with Kiss. <laughs> All right. Okay, why? Yeah. Like, you hear a Kiss song, and you're like, oh, my old dad would like this song. They're like, I don't even... Dad band. I don't know if your dad would. It'd be guys who didn't procreate favorite song. <laughs> <laughs> but then, I like, like, it's, it's like they're, all of Kiss's songs, like, they're all pretty chill rock songs. Like, you're just like, yeah, like, you know, I could listen to this while I'm they doing, like, laying things really, around the hor- around the house. They don't really match what they look like. When you see a no, picture of what they look they like, don't. you think they're going to be, like, it's a lot really more confusing. dark. Like, like, you see, like, Kiss's Get Up, and, like, you're expecting some, like, Norwegian death metal. Yeah, or, like, Insane Clown Posse. Right. But then, <laughs> like, they start singing, and all of a sudden it's just like, what? <laughs> like why why are you doing it's like this? the bay city rollers comes on and you're like what <laughs> <laughs> like i'm so so kiss like gene simmons and then somebody else from kiss mm-hmm. have a show on like amc or something i think mm-hmm. and it's like they've bought like an arena football team in los angeles <sighs> and there's just a reality show about that and like you turn that on and you're watching it and like I'm pretty sure like Gene Simmons and that other guy like aren't alive anymore. Like they're just I'm pretty sure they're robots. <laughs> they're like animatronics. Yeah, they're just like walking, like oh, oh They're just repurposed oh. from the Disney Hall of presidents. <laughs> <laughs> like, why is he saying stuff about Abraham Lincoln? <laughs> Gene Simmons, don't worry about it. He's really into Abraham Lincoln. Like there's these like just like these cutaway shots of like like this guy like working with a wrench on like on his back like he's got like an oil can he's like, like oh, oh sorry <laughs> all right <laughs> so, yeah so that's my answer so okay. Andrew okay. so Kiss would probably be my number two okay my number one it's probably a little bit more controversial but I think the Rolling Stones are kind of overrated um I agree with you a lot. Like, I hope like we don't all agree on this one because that's not going to make it very fun. So Adam, like, you have to I move on. Like I, I don't have a big opinion on the Rolling Stones. That's I do cool. like a that lot of Rolling happy. Stones songs, though. I feel like, I feel like I would agree with Andrew if you added the caveat like today the Rolling Stones are overrated. Like if the Rolling Stones went out and played a show, like it would suck. No but question. It, they are doing it, and they do suck. And they do suck. It's, it, like, it's like the Who at the Super Bowl. Like, the Who were great when the Who weren't old. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's or when the they thing. were still the Who. <laughs> that's, that's not even the thing, though. I think, like, even though even the Rolling Stones, when they were good, were just okay. They had the, they had the tendency of doing everything the Beatles did just six minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and, like, 60% as well. Yeah, and so they... It would come out with like one or two good songs, and there's good songs I like by the Rolling Stones. But if you ever like try to put on an album of theirs, it's like most of it's trash. It's just I don't know. Yeah, you know, like, yeah. I, don't, I just don't really, like their image. Good there. Rolling Stones like, song that I can think of right now is "Paint It Black." <laughs> that's that's a good song. Songs. That is a good that's song. I like that song. What, Andrew? That's one of their better songs, and on one of their better albums. But I don't know. Just my piece. I think the mo- the most overrated musician is Lady Gaga. I think she okay. is highly overrated. This is why um her songs, she has a she has some good songs, right? But they are mediocre. They're not they're not anything that's that that you're like she's broken new ground. She's they're just like they're like EDM songs, you know? They're just like Let's yeah. throw, I don't know, how do we make a Lady Gaga song? Let's do this beat, dun, 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 dun. And then let's put some synths over here, and then let's have her, like, sing runs. Okay, done. Like, yeah, put her in like, a weird outfit. They've, they've always got, like, a good hook. Like, they're always pretty catchy. 
But then yeah, like, no. I've never they're catchy with an old Lady Gaga song. I thought, man, this is this is stellar. Like this is a good song. But people treat her like she's like the next Madonna. Like she's like Madonna times ten. Like and here well, I Madonna think, was also overrated. So I guess it's a she, yeah, she was overrated. But um. I think the thing that, that bugs me the most about her is that is that I, I hate artists that – and I think this is why I think both of your artists are overrated too. I hate when they are – they're like really um, – they rely on shock to compensate yeah. for their lack of, of quality. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. different does not equal good. Like <laughs> you can be <laughs> super different and you're still not good. And, and so – I think like all the shock that they do, it, it masks the actual music, and it's not. And like with her, like it's like performance. It's art, man. It's art. It's not art. It's stupid. Like there's no point yeah. to it. Like you're really not. You can't tell me that that Lady Gaga is really like passionate about the art of it because she was like a jazz singer. She did like really high quality music, and then she, nobody knew who she was, and then she started you know, selling her body and, uh, and doing like this, like EDM music. And then she got famous. Oh, yeah. really? Like that wasn't a, a commercial decision. Plus I really think her nobility is questionable. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Too. Well, I, I know when I, I don't when she first came out, I, I, well, when she first came out, I thought I'm like, Oh, well this will be it. And then she'll go away forever. And I'm like <laughs> completely shocked. She's still around. Yes. I'm like, like, like a hundred percent shocked. I'm, Every time someone mentions, I'm like, is that still a thing? No one cares. I remember, <laughs> I remember there's a news feed that says, oh, here's some naked pictures of Lady Gaga. I'm like, please stay far, far away from me. <laughs> yeah, dude. Please, nobody leak that. No. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, yeah, I don't disagree with you at all. Like, I, th I feel like Lady Gaga is pretty overrated. I hope. One of my friends doesn't listen to me saying this because she'll be very upset. But like, she can be upset. Like, Lord, take it up with me. Okay, yeah. Take it up with Aaron, Hannah. What, blame that Aaron guy that you have. Your people call his people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was if a callback. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if you know, but in the comedy biz, this is called a callback. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's literally the only comic thing that I know. Um, yeah. Is the rule of three, you know? <laughs> There's timing. I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. Well, I remember what I was going to say. Like, there's this public image that she's putting out of, like, oh, I'm, like, I'm really artsy and stuff. And then, but, like, her music is not. And not really at all. With that. Like, it's like, oh, I'm so artsy. Like, I'm wearing a dress made out of meat to make a statement. But, like, her songs are about, like, oh, I have a poker face and you can't read it. It's all lowest common denominator music, right. like which is fine. Like nobody, I, like I would never say that Kesha is the most overrated artist. You know why? She's not rated. She's not. <laughs> nobody's <laughs> Kesha's nobody, not out there telling people like Kesha. I'm an artist. She's out there being like <laughs> I ain't garbage, and then everyone's like, "Cool, Kesha, <laughs> eat that garbage, make those songs. Nobody cares." Like you know, I listen to that garbage music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's cool, man. Whatever. I mean, she's like half caveman, but half, half Travolta. <laughs> so, Travolta. Caveman. Wait, what is that? That's a Saturday Night Live thing, isn't it? There's the caveman lawyer, which is always good, but that's Hartman. Know, that's what I was thinking Speaking about. of overrated things, did you say Saturday Night Live is overrated? <laughs> I did. I did say that. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> it's an institution. <laughs> Which is something you need to lock up on. Well, I think that rounds up. We, we've answered our questions, right? I think we have. We've gotten it all off our chest. Um, this so has been Three Guys, Three Questions. This has been. You have enjoyed Three Guys, Three Questions. That's what you have experienced. <laughs> and if you haven't enjoyed it, I'm not sure why you're still listening because it's been yeah, a while. No, you know what? You're dead to me. If you didn't enjoy <laughs> this, you're dead to me. Everyone's dead I just, to Aaron I, if, all the if time. If somebody didn't enjoy this, you can go. You really know what you can do. Either, you can go slow. Either this part in the podcast. I can get really close to the microphone and be really loud. You can go start your own podcast if you don't like this one. Then it's, then it's we'll not see. hard. Literally anybody can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so do it. Okay. Um, 
Remember to uh, rate our show on the things that you watch it slash listen to it on. Um, subscribe on the YouTube. Follow us on uh, 3G3Q.co. That's our website. Um, and uh, we're in iTunes, so on, under the philosophy section. So um, <laughs> you can find a link to our iTunes on our website. And go go give us links uh, or give us a – what's it called? Uh, stars? Lots of stars. stars. Five stars. I don't, we, actually, I don't care. You know, give us however many stars you think we deserve because we don't want to be overrated. You rate us exactly how we should be rated. That's all I ask. Okay, so this is goodbye. You, wh where can they find you, uh, Adam? Good sir. I can be found at at that Adam kid on the Twitter. Nice, nice. You don't want to give them your Badu. Badu is a French philosopher. I'm not sure why we're talking about him. <laughs> Badu. Okay. <laughs> Andrew. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm listening to my show at the same time. <laughs> I'm at A underscore S-A-V. A, -sa a underscore Sav on the Twitter. And I am at Aaron L.M. Goodwin. Um, that's, that's all for this week. Uh, we don't have like a sign-off. So uh, until next time, question everything. Like um, that. That, was, that was okay. <laughs> and then the ending music is. Doo, 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 doo. You know, what's the the I'm X Files? Stop recording now. No, that was it. No, that was Doctor Who. Was it? I think they're pretty. Maybe similar. the same song. Well, I, I the whole recording, so I'm not allowed to say anything funny anymore. Okay, I'm stopping recording.